Less pausing, more playing. Connect to your home Wi-Fi to play PS4 games on your phone. What's up YouTube, Andre here back with another video. What we're going to do today is we're going to connect my DualShock 4 controller to the Sony XZ Premium and we're going to see if we can play some games. Now Sony say that you can connect your XZ Premium to your home Wi-Fi and essentially play your PS4 anywhere in the house, whether it's at your balcony, in your kitchen, in your bedroom, as long as you have your PS4 connected to Wi-Fi and your phone connected to the same Wi-Fi, you'll be able to play your PS4 and use this as sort of a monitor or a TV screen. Uh, what we're going to aim to do today is we're going to try and play with the PS4 controller, games on the Sony XZ Premium, games which are installed on the phone itself. So not using a PS4 at all. Um, yeah, let's begin. Okay guys, so as you can see, uh, I've picked up a little stand. Uh, just a cheap little one for from eBay for my XZ Premium. It, it works pretty well. The first thing that you need to do is uh, now that you've got your DualShock 4 controller is to pair the two. So the way to do that is if you tap on settings and scroll down until you see device connection. Uh, scroll up a little bit and you'll see DualShock 4 gaming controller tap on pair controller and it guides you through the pairing setup on your controller press the PS4 home button and the share button and that begins the setup process setup complete simple as that go back to your home so before we get into uh, me showing you how to game on the XZ Premium, I'm going to show you how to use the sort of controller to navigate your home screen as you can see you have a little uh, blue outline of the icon now use your controller to sort of move around and just navigate through your your menu. Um, you can even access um, settings, go back. So this acts as the home button just like on a PS4, that acts as the accept button. Um, so we're in all apps now. If I was just to press the X button now, that lets me access all my apps. Press the circle to go back. So yeah, that essentially lets you navigate. Now I know that things like stock um, apps from the Exit Premium, like Clock, you can uh, navigate through that. So if you can see on the top here, it's highlighted very faintly. I'm moving across um, as I'm navigating through it. So let's see if I can activate my alarm that goes into it. All right, so. Um, I'm not sure if this works or not, but uh, essentially, yeah, it lets you navigate it. Let's see if I can turn that on. No, that only let, lets me access it. So it's limited in what you can do, but you can certainly navigate your menu. Now, I know on third-party apps, things like YouTube, uh, it will open up YouTube. However, you can't actually access anything. You can't go up or down. So if you go back, it will let you exit the app. Uh, let's check out Calculator, see if that works. So we can navigate through the buttons um, with the left and right arrows and uh, the little knob here. So if you do 6, oh, see that doesn't work now. Um, no matter what I press, it just doesn't want to register it as a press. So I guess all we can do is just go back. Oh, we can't even go back now. Okay guys, so the first game that I want to try is just done right here. It's called Real Racing 3. So as you can see, I can open up folders as well and access folders and then go back if I don't want that folder anymore. Uh, the first game is actually called uh, Real Racing 3. So I know that game works for sure. So let's just press X and start using that straight away. And open the game. Um, you have a little hand here. don't know if you can see that, guys. Um, it's moved onto the settings here and if I move it up now it's here so essentially that's how you navigate through the game uh, so if you just press start race let's get onto the race and see how how responsive the controller is I want to find out if there's any sort of uh, lag at all input lag with the controller and the phone itself starting the race now now I know the X and the R2 act as the accelerator the circle uh, the triangle or the uh, L2 act as the sort of brake or handbrake as you wish the circle uh, lets you look behind the triangle lets you change camera modes and you can um, steer with either the joystick or the controls whichever one you fancy you've been eliminated again ah oh, I'm just too good at this they decided to take me out straight away but yeah guys that's Real Racing 3 uh, as you can see it's pretty straightforward, it's really nice. 
in terms of the response time and input lag with the controller I don't really see it there uh, I mean it may be slightly uh, but it, it doesn't bother me at all whatsoever so uh, let's just exit this game and I do want to show you guys one more game I know that not all games allow you to use the controller and there's not specifically a way to find out on the Play Store before you download the game uh, I have tried Real Moto um, which is a motorcycle game so just like real racing but it's just with motorcycles and it didn't work and it doesn't work with all the games but uh, there's another game which I know that it works for sure it's something called um, Asphalt 8 press X to access that so I'll show you guys a little bit of a gameplay from this game uh, let's play career let's go with the Audi R8 next I like this color I like this car paint so next start race I need to have no wrecks and drift 200 meters to get all stars in this game oh, I'm loving this controller I'm loving loving it okay so accelerate again you use R2 or X to accelerate and we're in last place now with this game I do know that if you press the circle that lets you uh, activate uh, nitro and the square is sort of the drift or the handbrake uh, you can also have the handbrake on L2 oh, I've got some nitro there let's see if we can catch these guys up we've got to be in first place uh, guys I don't know if you can tell or not um, from the time lag um, I don't really see it there to be honest I mean some people may say that you have got it a little bit that was an awful move from me to hardcore gamers this could be very very annoying for me I'm absolutely loving the experience uh, I haven't actually played uh, with a controller uh, for a very long time so I'm loving this gotta get in first place gotta get in first place come on come on come on now the triangle doesn't do anything with this game uh, like I said the X will accelerate as well as um, R2 come on come on I'm in last place I can't be in last place again you can steer with both of the controls the joystick and the left and right buttons ah uh, why are you gonna wreck yourself in front of me and then take me down with you man alright I gotta take you out you've caused too much troubles for me cool fifth place this is what we want moving up moving up the guy took my nitro come back come back come back fourth place guys we're in fourth place somebody wrecked themselves uh, wicked I'm absolutely loving this loving it Oh, in the tunnel let's see if we can uh, knock this guy out and let's see if we can do a 360 oh look at that amazing that this slows down though uh, what does this joystick do oh right so just wreck myself while trying to find out what this joystick does so if you do that it sort of slows you down and if you hold it forward it sort of acts as an accelerator as well I didn't know no. but that's cool to know I guess not that I would use anyway Oh, I missed the nitro and I went the wrong way as well. Took the long way. Okay, so we also got to drift 200 meters in this game. Yes, got it. Got the full nitro. Let's go, guys. All right, let's see if we can start some drifting going on here. Um, we're at 100 meters. Got the nitro as well. Amazing. 170, 200 meters drift. And uh, oh, look at that drift. Let's go. 350 meters drift. Look, generally I'm pretty good at these games, right? I, I tend to finish first. So to me, guys, the time lag isn't a problem at all. Uh, I, I sense there's a little bit. Um, why don't you guys sort of look at the video and leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of the time lag. See if you notice anything. Uh, I'm a bit too focused on this game at the moment. Oh, and he finished third. Oh, I finished fourth. How is this guy going to over overtake me here? Or the finish line? That's essentially the controller. One thing I want to point out is uh, in the settings, if you go to device connection, when you're pairing your controller, you see that you have some more sort of options. Uh, something called battery status. So essentially, it tells you the battery of your controller. Now, the touchpad can't be used at all. The share feature can't be used. The home button does nothing. Would I buy this controller just for gaming on the exit premium probably not because it's quite expensive uh, and it doesn't let you use all the features so you can't use things like the stereo speaker in the controller and it you just can't really use it to do max of its ability can't really justify 42 pound 99 that I pay for it in the UK okay guys so that was a little look at the exit premium and the DualShock 4 controller playing games on the exit premium itself not using the sort of PS4 
uh, remote play feature which uh, what this was designed for so obviously if you're using the ps4 you'll be able to use pretty much all of its features so like the touchpad the speaker the ps4 home button and stuff like that also it's very limited in terms of the games that you can use it for uh, in all honesty i thought that if you set these two up together you can pretty much use it for any game so things like clash of clans Final Fantasy, uh, real motor, um, motorcycle racing games. Yeah, but it's a wonderful experience. I absolutely loved it. Okay, guys, so if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you really, really enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave me any comments down below that you want to talk to me about. Um, I aim to reply to all the comments back as soon as I can. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.